think we have a new contender for the most controversial 4K Star Wars steelbook from Xavi. Empire Strikes Back obviously caused a lot of uproar, but this one, for totally different reasons, has got its own dark cloud over its head at the moment. Based on reviews and experiences shared by other collectors, it is, of course, Solo, a Star Wars story. Beautiful, beautiful case. I mean, the, 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 the weight, get your words out, and the, the case, the way it's been put together, the art and the colour scheme is nothing short of magnificent it is one of my favorites from the entire series in terms of the quality of this case so usual cover we've got the j card poking out now a lot of people complained that empire strikes back cover didn't match or fit with the oh god sorry didn't fit with the artwork and the cover art of the other cases. Now, every spine I've shown you so far on the Star Wars 4K Steelbooks has been uniform, laid out nicely. This one will stick out like a sore thumb. Makes no difference to me because I store them um, facing out on the wall of Steelbooks. So that's what we see predominantly. But yeah, anybody use bookshelving these, that is going to stick out. J card on the back, we've got the cast, and we will read the uh, the synopsis like all the other Star Wars movies. Buckle up for the ride of your life aboard the Millennium Falcon. Through a series of daring escapades, Han Solo befriends his multi-future co-pilot Chewbacca, forging a bond that will alter the fate of a galaxy. Director Ron Howard helms this epic action adventure written by Jonathan and Lawrence Kasdan that makes the jump to light speed and doesn't slow down. Quoted by Ash Crossan at ET Online. Again, gigantic amount of features, even including the J card and the usual stuff. So now I'm going to attempt to open this. Please, please share with me in the comments what's happened. The controversy I am speaking of is there are a lot of people claiming, I'm saying claiming because obviously we know it's true, I'm assuming it is, but that they haven't received their steelbooks or they've come late. Unfortunately, I think we're given the current situation the way the world is, regular customer service, cannot be given no matter how old you try cardboard j card always a plus so yeah let me know if you've got yours i hope zavi can sort out as much as possible i find generally that their customer service is good but i'm one of the fortunate ones to not have had any particularly bad experiences or anything that's tainted my view of them so I'm only speaking from my own experience, but I hope everybody gets their copies. And this is the case in all its glory. It is magnificent. They have done such a good job creating this steel book, whoever it is that's created it. So, as you can see on the cover, we've got the cast, the main cast, Han, Chewie, Lando, Amelia Clark. She makes anything better. Got the Falcon and some Toy Fighters then there. And on the back, a beautiful picture of everybody's favourite Wookiee, Chewbacca. There's the spine again. It is not going to look right bookshelved. But that's my temper of breath. Inside. So this is the Zavi exclusive 4K Ultra HD 3 disc edition. $29.99 plus postage sold out on pre-order and then Xavi released 
all 11 films, like an overspill of stock maybe, um, or something kept back, and Solo has sold out again. The Blu-ray movie. Don't really need to see what's there, do we? The 4K movie with uh, with the Falcon, and then usually the most awkward one to get out the bonus features. Now, this hasn't followed suit either in terms of the the bonus disc is usually being an image of a could be behind the scenes picture, picture of a cameraman filming Darth Vader or, or whatever something behind the scenes whereas this is an alternative movie cover I believe and then inside of the case we've got Falcon there in all its glory so I mean I, I am absolutely blown away by the quality of the case it is stunning it is a the color scheme of it is just beautiful this is one of my favorite cases. This is just very good looking it is. So as per usual, what we shall do is go through the special features. If you would like to go and make a cup of tea, I'll probably still be reading them out when you come back. So we've got filmmaker and cast audio commentary, cast and crew archi archival commentary, solo the director and cast roundtable, formerly titled Solo Talk. Kazdan on Kazdan, remaking the Millennium Falcon. Escape from Corellia, the train hoist, Team Chewie, becoming a droid L337. Scoundrels, droids, creatures, and cards, welcome to Ford Keep Solar. Into the Maelstrom, the Kessel Run, the Kessel Run, how many parsecs? Deleted scene, Proxima's Den. Deleted scene, Corellian Foot Chase. Deleted scene, Han Solo, Imperial Cadet. Deleted scene, The Man of Mimban, Extended. Deleted scene, Ham vs. Chewie, Extended. Deleted scenes, Snowball Fight. Deleted scene, Meet Droiden, Extended. Deleted scene, Coaxium Double Cross. And that's all of the special features. Still plenty to uh, enjoy as a Star Wars fan or as a movie fan in any sort of sense of the word. So nice, these cases. Let me know what your thoughts are. How are you, how are you feeling right now? Have you got your copy? Have you not got your copy? Share your thoughts in the comments. I do sincerely hope that everybody you pre-ordered will get their copy. Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. We have got more steel books to come. Uh, we, the collection is complete. It is all here, ready to be unboxed and uploaded onto YouTube. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Plus, we've got some other collectibles and whatever you come in your way. If you like what you watch, please like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. I appreciate every like I get, no matter how few they are. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.